you needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I got a pretty good video, although it is long term. It is very, very helpful for multiple reasons. Now, most people tend to miss this and mess up on this and not even go to this extent because they just like ignorance, like lack of lack of knowledge. Like they don't know because they haven't played Madden long enough. Now, the Team of the Year promo is a promo that comes out towards the end of the year, although. What you need to finish it starts as of like yesterday, two days ago. So team of the year is built up to based on team of the week. Now team of the week is a promo where every week the top performers or some of the top performers, depending on what EA deems as a top performer, gets a brand new card with the green, you know, the green team of the week cards that Dalvin Cook I did, those types of cards. Now team of the year cards typically have a golden glow. You guys, if you guys have ever played Madden before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Those are cards that get pretty much one at each position for the top performers at each position for the year that EA deems the top guys. So like last year we got guys like Tyree Kill, we got Leighton Van Der Esch, DeAndre Hopkins, Drew Brees, a kicker, which I think was Aldrich Rosas, so on and so forth. You guys get the point. So Team of the Year is one of the most fun promos every year. Last year, they had fantasy packs for them where you got to pick between an offensive, defensive, or special teams um, Team of the Year player, and that was a really cool fantasy pack that everyone loved. Now, to get, you also get one of those for free by playing this year. You get one for free every year, and they're typically auctioned. Well, you get two for free. You get one for free from the Solo Challenges that are going to come out like in 18 weeks from now, and you also get one for free that's auctionable by playing the solos now so you guys are gonna you don't get the card now but you do have to get this token now it's just like the mud 10 if you don't do this now you guys will miss out and you won't get it they typically do drop extras but don't wait for the extras because let's say they only drop two extra tokens this year and you only have 15 now you're short one let's say well let's say they they drop no extras this year because they don't feel like it so in theory you need 17 total tokens throughout the year to get the grand i believe it's 17 it could be 18 depending on the preseason typically between 17 and 18 tokens you pretty much need to play every week and you need to get those tokens at the end of the year you put them into a set and you get a free team of the year auction pack now these cards go for like 300 400 500 600 all the way up to a million coins so if you get one of the worst ones you're getting at least base 400k right when you open the pack if you get one of the best ones like tyree kill sometimes and those type cards you get like a million coins so you guys definitely want to be on this this is something you do not want to miss out on now how do you get five right this is huge. Now, guys, before we get into the video, I just want to say a few things. Me and Xerxes were just on FaceTime, literally prior to him record. So we talked about this multiple times this week, and we're both making this video. If I see one comment saying I copied Xerxes, I swear you guys are banished from this channel. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Half the time, his ideas on his channel are from me, and half the time, some of his ideas are from him. Guys, don't... You know what doesn't make sense? Like, I will post this video three days before Xerxes, or hours before Xerxes, and somehow I copied him. It doesn't make any sense, but guys, before we get into this video, if you are new to the channel and this helped you guys out, make sure to drop a sub. We're growing pretty fast again. Guys, we're, we're, we're closing in on 8K. We're like at 7.4 right now. We got to, let's get to 8K and then get to that 10K subscriber special, guys. You won't want to miss out on that. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button. Let's get this video to 300 likes. I feel like you guys are going to love this one. Comment down below who you, so some of your team of the year predictions. I know it's a little early, but it'd be still cool to look back on this like 18 weeks later and be like, let's see who hit it right. Like, you know. TJ or Max, whatever, some random names in the comments, hit them right. That'd be pretty cool to look back on. Maybe I'll feature some of the comments in my video when that does drop. Now, guys, this does pertain to these right here. So this team of the weeks, you have to play these every single week to get up to the, the cards you're going to want. Now, I'll go over how to get five of them in a second. Stay tuned for that. So team of the week right here, you come over to team of the week preseason. There's preseason Dalvin Cook and preseason Bradley Chubb. Now, in years past, there was just one solo. You played, you got the token. But now we have a star system. So, to get the team of the year token, you need two stars. I highly recommend you get six stars, though, so you can get the gold plus, because I could be an elite. But two tokens. I mean, uh, two stars. So, to get two stars, you either play one of these on easy and get one of the objectives. You play one of these on medium, do no objectives. You play both on easy, get no objectives. There's so many ways. Just get two stars. It's pretty cut and paste, simple. Simple as that. Now... These cards, like I said, are some of the best cards every year, so this is one of the most fun promos that ever happens. So you have to play these every single week. Typically, there's one of these every week from the end of preseason all the way through week 17 of the NFL season. Now, typically, you need all 18. You need the preseason and all 17 of the, of the regular season. That's 18 total. If you miss one week, that's not the end of the world because typically after team of the week uh, is done for the year, they drop like four or three solo challenges where you can get up to three to four tokens extra. I can't promise you'll do that this year. So I would not take the chance of not getting it. I'd start now. That's why. See, I would love to have made this video in 18 weeks when the things are about to come out and be like, this is how you get these cards. But that wouldn't help you guys. If I make that video in 18 weeks and then you guys see it and you're like, wow, I wish you would have told us earlier because we missed some of the solo challenges. I know my channel is built around a lot of beginners too. So I know a lot of you guys might not even know what team of the week is. 
So if you guys don't know, this is what it is. You guys want to be playing these solos every single week. It's one of the most beneficial things. I mean, I know from when I played for Madden 13, every year I was like, I'm going to do team of the week. And then I know around Christmas, I take a break or around January, I take a break. And then I come back. I'm like, wow, I didn't get my free team of the year player. Don't be that guy. Start playing them now. Don't miss out because come the end of the year when you're getting a team of the year Christian McCaffrey, Ezekiel Elliott, team of the year Saquon Barkley, team of the year Mahomes, team of the year Hopkins, team of the year Juju Smith-Schuster, like all those cards you're going to want to get. And if you don't play these now, you get two for free. Now, if you do this method, I'm going to tell you guys, you get five plus the one free. You get about six for free, but five for free doing this method. So obviously you can do this on one account, right? I know everyone hates to hear, but farm accounts are huge this year with the way you could do things. So typically EA drops two total packs in the year. There's one for the tokens that is one auctionable, auctionable. So you can get tons of coins selling it. And then one nat. The nat one's from the solo challenges that you play at the end of the year. So that's irrelevant difference to the situation. But you get one auctionable. So if you do five accounts, guys, you get a grand total. If you did five accounts and you play one every, it's literally one star. It's it's like no two stars. It's literally playing one game with with one object, objective done, guys. It is one star. By the way, the camera is going to die, so I want to get this video out for you guys. So sorry for that, but you know you don't need to see my face. The whole video. There's only a few more minutes left. But guys, if you play at all five accounts and you play, it's just literally two stars. It would take you to do all five accounts, maybe like 25 minutes, once a week. That is not bad at all. These solo challenges literally take like a few minutes each, and you play them on five accounts. And to get five accounts, guys, it's pretty simple. Just go on Xbox right here. Go to the top left corner where my, my logo is. Go to add an account. Make a free one. You don't even need live on it. And if it's on the same home Xbox as you, typically it will just share the live anyways. You come in, you make the accounts. A lot of you guys probably even have farm accounts already. If you go through and you play all these solo challenges, it's literally just one. You need two stars. It made it really easy this year. No full games. They're usually full games in years past. You need two stars. They're objective-based. Very simple. So you want to go in. They start at the end of the third quarter. Play all five of them. If you get all five every week of the season, all the way going into, you know, team of the year promo, you will have all 18 tokens on five different accounts. And if they are auctionable again, which I believe they will be, you will get five team of the year players that go for a minimum 400k. So if you get all the worst ones, right, 400k, and you times that by five, that is 2 million coins. Let's say you get five of the best ones, like Tyree Kills, Patrick Mahomes, I'll go for like a million, 800 coins, 800,000 to a million. You can get upwards to 5 million coins just for playing the game it takes you 25 minutes a week i know it sounds hard but it's not it's 25 minutes when you really break it down you go on one account takes you five minutes you go on another account takes you five minutes takes you literally a grand total of 25 minutes 30 max if you're really milking it and you're watching netflix on the side but guys think about that you can get or even you trade them all over so let's say you're a no money spent team right this is awesome for no money spent team you do this you get let's say mahomes tyree kill saquon barkley the kicker um a defensive end you know you let's say you get all four or five of those guys you trade them all over to your main. Now you have five top tier cards in the game right now on your team. Now your team's stacked. And if you don't want that, you just sell them all for their top value, which is what I recommend doing. And then you buy a 5 million coin team. Or if you, at worst, you buy a 2 million coin team. That is free coins. This method is one of the best methods to get the most bang for your buck come the end of the year. Might as well do it if you have farm accounts. I know a lot of you guys do it. If you don't, I highly recommend you start them. Because on those farm accounts, you can do elite exchanges. You can get the Baker and the other cards, um, the other 86 Epic cards, and put them in for exchanges. Farm accounts have so much of a use this year. And although it's hard to sell them and just send the coins over, you could literally do that by using quick sell cards. Or you can just trade them over and make them a part of your main team, guys. This is definitely something I would take advantage of if I was you guys. There's no better way right now to prepare for 2 to 5 million coins than this right here. Team of, the, team of the weeks, team of the year is such a cool promo year round. Although you guys might forget about it, you're going to thank me come week 18 of the season when the playoffs start and you guys have one of the best teams in Madden. There goes the camera. Let's turn that off right there. But you guys are going to thank me later for this. I really hope this guy, this does help you guys a lot considering. Now, a lot of you guys are new. So I, I know for the new guys, this is especially going to help you guys. If you guys are confused, just follow these tips. Make five accounts. Come in here. Get to the level to play the team of the week solos. And just get the token every week on every account. Guys, there's, there's no other easy way to say it. And if you miss one on some of the accounts, there's most likely going to be extra makeup um, solo challenges. So that would definitely make up for that. Guys, you don't want to miss out on this. This is going to be one of the best things you could probably do all year in terms of guaranteed coins. Like, you know there will be value in this at the end of the year. And it will, I don't want to say the end of the year. Just the end of the regular season, which Madden still goes strong for plenty of months after that. Because there's playoffs. There's Easter. Maybe golden tickets again. So you still have plenty of time. Team of the year is so much fun. You guys will thank me later when you have a Saquon, a Mahomes, a Hill, a Kelsey, a Kittle. You're going to have so many great cards in this promo, guys. You don't want to miss out on that. This is one of the best things all year. And don't forget, you also get one Nat. So if you also play them on all five accounts, you can just quick sell the Nats, get training, convert those to coins. And on your main account, keep the Nats. You can get upwards to six total Team of the Year cards. 
just by playing the game. It really can't get any easier than that, guys. I really hope this does help you guys. And if it did help you guys, make sure to go down below and smack the sub button to be updated all year for more methods like this, more Madden content, more Madden tips, more Madden gameplay. Also, turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video just like this, guys. And if you haven't already, drop a like on this video. Let's get this video to 300 likes, guys. That'd be greatly appreciated. I always say it. If you made it this far and you're loyal, the best way to show love on the video and the channel is to drop a like. And comment down below who you think we got some team of the years. I I like to see the predictions and maybe I can highlight these back later in the year. So if you don't forget to comment if you want to be featured in my later videos in the year for who commented correctly, guys. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.